Greetings, everybody. Looney Farm Guy here with another episode of Fox Farms. And as you know, I am the six million dollar farmer. Yes, indeed. Well, as hinted at, promised, and or suggested, uh, big uh, big changes here on the farm, and uh, more to come. And first of all, we have a real house. <laughs> uh, no more tent. <clears throat> I thought it was time. Uh, the money was starting to roll in. We got some plants. Um, they don't want to stay up very nicely. Ooh. He's got a bit of a mind of his own. Um, so, yes, um, update to the farm. Um, we have harvested all our soybeans, uh, limed it, mulched it. So everything's perfect. Uh, nitrogen um, is a bit odd with the nitrogen thing because of the soybeans not... Well, odd in the way that um, if we look at our scores they dropped significantly and my nitrogen score if you can see there it's a top one has dropped like right off the chart with some of them and now i'm not sure if that's because for some reason um it got over fertilized with the soybeans and i don't know uh, the grass field's always been low and i don't know why I think B looks like the nitrogen. I can understand maybe the nitrogen because I'm just throwing a chemical fertilizer on it, but not so much the weed control. It's grass. It doesn't grow weeds. Kind of weird. I've been spot spraying weeds. Of course, that's not a, that's not an issue. It's the nitrogen. Everything else is 100%. The nitrogen. So I'm wondering. Well, what's going to happen is. We're going to replant, well, I have replanted barley. I think we're going to do some barley and some wheat. Um, anyways, so um, this episode, we're going to, we have uh, we have some cash, as you can see. Although I have been, went a little nuts with the uh, equipment. Um, as I said, I was thinking of going green. As you can see, there's a little peak of green and green and more green so much green. <laughs> yes, so this here, this little device is the forage pickup. Um, we're going to give this a try. It'll pick up the grass. Um, and um, I've got uh, some more green. <laughs> um, I have uh, I have repaired and sold my case two case tractors replaced uh, replaced with um, a bunch of new ones, Dutes. This is the Knight's Dutes um, 9 Warrior. Um, yes. Um, I got a uh, dolly so we can uh, pull the trailer behind this. 250,000 liters of grass at a time. That might do well. Um, this one is the uh, as of the 8, 8R um with the dual twin duels, I love those. Um, but you say, what are we going to seed with? And I think maybe you're seeing a little peak over here. Yes, indeed, the Borgo, the smaller Borgo, and to pull it with. I didn't want to go with the uh, the four track. I wanted to go with the two track. I haven't really used it much. And here we go, all done to the nines. 670 something horsepower to track and um yes so that's the plan um yes and we're going to uh, we still have some money left we're going to put the barn because we have um oh yes there we go um silence not uh, we have plenty of tmr 2.7 million liters of TMR, I think we're ready. Um, yeah, we'll have enough for at least, uh, and then uh, we're going to keep, of course, we're going to keep um, 
um, you know, to, to do in the, the fields and the things. Oh, yes, and that's why the tanker. So the tanker that explains the tanker, um, we're going to need that for the water, for the milk, for the slurry. Um, so let's, uh, let's right off the bat here, let's build this barn. And we're going to use the same uh, barn as we were. That's the best barn right now. Uh, the My Cow Pasture. And we're going to put her right here, actually. I want the... Uh, I want the water to be that way. Yes, okay. So the slurry will leave, leave enough room at the back for slurry. And we're just going to put it right there, just like that. Let's go have a look. Many of you, many of you are familiar with this already, of course. But we need to fill it with cows. Uh, the, hmm. Oh, the it's the other end that has the gates. <laughs> That's kind of hard to, I thought I remembered gates on this thing, but here they are. Just open these right up, right like so. Keep the cows from uh, getting out. Um, there's our slurry out. Uh, we will need to uh, put manure. Um, manure extension, we're just going to do right here. Mm. There we go. Like so. Tuck it up right there. Yes, I know it overlaps. Don't worry about that. Put that there. And our next um, barn will go right here. And if I put another barn here and here, I think this should still capture cow barns if they're uh, within this area. We'll, we'll, we'll see anyways right now. Uh, the next order of business is a, a water uh, tool, no, container, there we go, container in the uh, fire hydrant by Omatana. That will go right on the corner there, like so. There we go, very convenient. Now. Uh, math. My math is terrible. So 490, 490 divided by 2 equals 245. So <clears throat> we're going to start out with 245 cows, uh, older hoistings, hoistings. Uh, right, buy that. Yes, yes. Um, because we want, uh, Milk production is our plan. Let's say 245. Uh, 80, so 2. So 20 is going to 40 will be. Yeah, we need 40. 55. No, 245. So that's. Oh, my math. Like I said, my math is absolutely dreadful. Yes, and now another five. There we go. Excellent. There they are. Now, we have cows, 245 cows. So now when they reproduce, they will fill the barn to capacity. And uh, at that point, um, they will be both, you know, humming along. Until, uh, and then uh, once the, uh, once the first set of cows are ready to reproduce again, I will sell off the young cows build a new barn and put 245 cows in that barn and that's how we're going to expand we're just going to pretend we transferred them because i don't 
I'm not going to transfer them. <laughs> um, so uh, let's get... There we go. Let's get that um, barn set up and those cows eaten and producing stuff like manure and slurry. So now we're going to go fill up with our TMR. So exciting. All right. Oh, this, can, might, this might take a minute. Uh, meanwhile, while that's filling up, um, oh, yes. So let's uh, let's get this set up. Oh, okay. Gonna need one, another one, anyways. No, not that. That one. There we go. Unreal capacity lizard with the. <laughs> We should do the should we do the crawler tracks? I haven't used crawler tracks hardly ever. Uh, we could we could do that. Side bumpers, no, no. Oh, stripes, details, details. Yeah, sure. Lighting, uh, lighting, both. Attachers. Hmm. And we'll leave the attacher off. Cover, no, no cover. Uh, here we go. We want. There we go. And no cover. We don't have a cover. Frame. Uh, frame has to be. Oh, John Deere yellow. Rim color. I don't think it's going to change the rim color. No, it isn't. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So we got green. Actually, there's several shades of green we could have went with. We could have went with Fent, too. Um, and yes, I did sell the combines, so um, it's probably going to be a John Deere. Although I could get the Fent Ideal. Possibility. Definitely not going to get a Dutes combine. That's just death. Um... All right, let's hook this up. And, of course, I went the wrong way. There we go. So, we're going to... Uh, we're going to see how well this works, actually, um, in a minute... We're going to finish, uh, we, so that's set up. We haven't filled our cedar yet or anything. Uh, we're going to need to, uh, we're going to need to do that too. Um, where's our, where is he? Oh, there we go. All right, let's go. Hopefully I've given myself enough room on the ends to get in and out. That would be nice. I'm pretty sure I think I did. It's Got a little bit of extra room back there. And, of course, this trailer's not going to work in here because... Tip collision. I should have remembered that. Uh, how far can I go without... Oh, I can go... I can do this. There we go. We should be okay. And just... Just gave myself enough. <laughs> room to get out and turn around oh yes we're fine okay so now <clears throat> we need some straw for bedding of course uh, how did that do for us for oh good that um, nearly filled us up, filled the did, 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 did us up for food. That's good. That'll do us fine for for uh, quite some time. Uh, we need straw. Oh, we got plenty of straw too. <laughs> 
Right. Well prepared. As the boys be the Boy Scouts. Isn't that their motto? Be prepared. I think we are. Oh, that's gonna take a minute again. Alright, let's get um Yes. Let's get this guy over there. And pipe out. Nice. Now, it's not going to go fast like the milling machine. This is a version, kind of, of the milling machine, although it's much more highly detailed and, well, they took the Lanco Tech 2, uh, if you recognize design, and then the front pickup off of a... <clears throat> one of those, uh, th those, those feed self-propelled feed wagons which is fine because it works so my goodness um i'm not complaining i'm just explaining <laughs> if you've heard that one before i'm not complaining i'm just explaining you can use that too if you want i mean you can use that one it's not it's not copyrighted or anything right okay so we let's lower that down uh, let's see, I think we can, there we go, we can open that top up, turn it on, and, voila. Now, I don't, no, worker's not, no, worker's not gonna, worker's not gonna do that, but he can set the cruise control, and away we go. Um, and, um. Is this better than having a worker do this and bale it, and then pick up the bales later? Hmm. It's a good question. A question that I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to, 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 to try. Because, um, for a couple of things is, number one, oh yes, the other thing I wanted to do, um, there's a fantastic grass dryer, um, that came up for mods and um did it take yeah it did take bail so hmm this might be uh oh i mean i'm sit having an extra trailer and um that the uh the dolly could come in handy it's just the uh if it went faster, that that would be nice. But we'll we'll do this. Um, we're going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna install that dryer anyways because um, I just need to pick it up and it's pretty much instantaneous um, conversion from grass to hay and. Um, yeah, I don't need to ted anything. And it gets all spread out when you tet it. So when the, the mower mows it, it mows it in rows, just easy to pick it up. So bam, 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 bam. Um, we're just going to try it this way for a bit. And it's something different. And uh, our, uh, where is it? Ooh, there we go. We're filled up already here. So let's, uh, let's dump this into our cow barn. And then we're going to go grab the tanker, our new tanker. And our new Roadrunner. New equipment is always so much fun. He's trying to escape. Oh, wait a minute. Did, I did not get... Oh. The straw trigger is... There. Hmm. Not much like... I'm not liking that. Okay, let's see if it's closer to the other end. Straw, 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 straw. Mm. This is not going to end well. Oh, 
dear. That's the problem with this one. Oh. Okay, well, I have to think of a different uh, solution to this. I think I might have to, uh, once with, once it's in there, I can, uh, straw's not accepted here. Yeah, okay. Is it full? Okay, straw's full. So, from going here, for, going forward from here, um, How's our TMR factory for straw? Oh, I could use some straw. Well, let's dump the rest of it in there. Um, we'll just use the uh, Trans 70 to put straw on going forward and probably just uh, TMR as well because uh, once we we can, it's maintainable. It's just that the every just every day, just go in there and top it up. And we'll be good to go. Um, yes, if you've uh, if you've been watching any of my previous series, uh, I always put the cows first, and then I worried, tried to figure out how to get all that food made. And this time, it's like you know what? We're gonna make the food first, and then when the cows come, <laughs> we'll be ready. There we go. Now, got her all warmed up. Let's go. Let's open up the tanks. No fancy horn, just a regular horn, which is fine. And the green exhaust too. I think that's a thought that was a nice touch. <laughs> right, so fill her up the water. And fill up the water in the trough, and we should be well on our way. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, it's odd that that does. I thought the uh. Oh, there's the water. There we go. Come on. Water full now? There we go. Twenty, Only 25,000 liters of water. Right. Okay. So, uh, water, uh, straw, food, tea bar. Excellent. Now... Um, let's get our, uh, cedar. Our Borgo cedar. Ready to go. Um. There we go. Is that hooked up to the proper hooking up a thingy? No, it's not. There we go. That's what I want to see. Ha ha ha. You know what that is, right? Um, so let's uh, open up the pipe there. And where's our, there we go. Come on, there we go. Where's our uh, seed, uh, there's our seeds. Uh, the thing about the Hessian um, fermenter is it does not take bales either. So if I can avoid um, having to uh, transfer bales, as a matter of fact, um, that hay dryer is a factory. And factories, you can... Um, um, uh, when you have a factory, you can uh, 
um, distribute a product and the hay will be distributed to wherever I, I might choose to distribute it. Uh, seeds. Okay, so seeds should be able to um, load seeds from here. Yes. Awesome. Um, fertilizer's going to be needed. I guess we should buy a fertilizer trailer like that as well. We're going to need it. Whoops, passed it by. There we go. This one. Uh, we want solid fertilizer. Yes, uh, and we're going to make it a John Deere solid fertilizer trailer. Because, well, actually, should make it a Dutes. Dutes. Because I think the Dutes is going to... Uh, although the other one's green too, I think. Fertilizer should be white, right? Yeah, let's let's make it kind of like silver or light gray with uh, the Dutes green wheels. Yeah, there we go. A little overkill for this Dutes, but um, right now, actually, hmm. Should get another little dutes to pull this around. Do we have enough money? I like them. I like the little dutes. I like the dutes because they're so fast. Uh, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Two hundred thousand. Yeah, we could. Pretty good. Two hundred forty-seven horsepower too. Pretty uh, strong little uh, fella. Um, don't want, don't need the war. What's extra with the warrior colors? Oh, that's what's extra. That's okay. Uh, no, nope, not front loader. We want. We want the rear twins, I think, with just the weights. Yeah, that's good for now. Um, we just need something, a little fella, to uh, this big one uh, is not well served by uh, um, hauling around fertilizer. And soon we will be making our own fertilizer. That'll be exciting. So making our own fertilizer, making our own seeds. We've already made our own seeds. Uh, I'm guessing this is filled. Oh, oh, still, really? There we go. Nice. Right, okay. We'll switch that over. We'll get... Uh, get this little fella out of the way it's not so little actually <laughs> we'll have to get uh, once we get get going we'll have uh, we'll refill him with seeds the seed cart and we'll put this fellow on uh, on one of the other cedars, <sighs> and he'll be able to uh, um, do a little better job of winging those things around than uh, than those. And not to not to uh, discredit those case tractors, they were uh, great little tractors, and 
a lot of fun to use, but uh, our money is back down to five hundred thousand. <laughs> Actually, after the uh, after the canola or after the soybeans, soybeans paid out really well, so I ended up with about three million dollars. <laughs> but uh, buying equipment, uh, oh, we're still gonna have to. Yeah, we'll sh- gotta remember to save enough money for. Um, <laughs> we don't have a harvester. I sold the harvester. Right. Okay. Oh, this thing's still filling up. Let's go back into... Where are we? There we go. Let's do this well. Um, <laughs> oh, how much is that grass A dryer factory production? Only 75000 Okay, well... How big is it? Well, not too bad. We could fit that easily here without interfering anything with anything unduly. All right, okay. Well, okay, let's get back into... Is it filled? Oh, come on. Taking a minute to fill from this. I should have just filled it from the... Uh, from the uh, the buy point, but right. Well, we shouldn't have to refill it um, for a while. All right. There we go. Drop that off. Grab our cedar. There we go. And see if we can get this thing hooked up. Without too much... Uh, at least it's not an articulating tractor. Those articulating tractors are... Uh, really difficult to... Uh, back up these, uh, these type of... Uh, okay. Not that this one's all that much easier. There we go. <laughs> okay, what did I say? Uh, wheat? Let's do one. Huh. Wheat takes so darn long, but... Um, We'll do one field a week just because, well, just because. This, this, uh, this one here, let's, uh, let's do a, uh, headlands here and then see how well or not well, uh, the worker Did I not drop you? There we go. Ooh, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna we're gonna um, do a little. We're not gonna do the square. We're just gonna do a little uh, roundabout like this. Not getting too close. You know what? I don't think I, uh, I don't think I souped this thing up all the way to, uh, I can't have souped it up to, uh, maximum horsepower, did I? Oh, I did. 
Oh, that's, uh, it's not really pulling it very fast. It's 600 and something horsepower. Not very impressed, actually. Hmm. Well, it's getting up there. Okay, now it's now it's going. Right. Okay. Let's stop it there. And go this way. And then we'll set the, well, so once we get to the end here, this isn't as fast as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so we'll, we'll set this guy off to, to work and see how well they do. And, uh, wheat, I don't, I'm not going to plan on, pl I'm, not, I'm not planning on planting a lot of wheat. It just, it takes so long to, uh, mature. So, um, since we did barley in the first one, uh, I think we'll just go ahead and do barley on the next two. And then we're going to, we'll have uh, another crop of straw. All right, there we go. Set the worker off. Worker is on his way. Great. Now, actually, what I want to do, let's get this fellow over here. Nice and shiny. And clean. And we're going to uh, shut him off, actually. Get in here, drop that trailer. And we're going to grab... This cedar here, Amazon. And uh, we're going to see how well this fella does uh, pulling this around compared to the. Uh, um, compared to the. Uh, it should do better. It should do better in the case. It's got more horsepower. Let's go put some seed in it. Uh, our seed factory has produced a abundance of seeds again. It's not the quickest at roll at loading, but uh, that's okay. There we go, and we should be able to. Oh, that's one of those little bit come on really yeah well Oh dear. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, he turned around. It looks like pretty good. He's carrying on there. <clears throat> um, seeds. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to do it this way then. Weird that it wouldn't, uh, didn't really like filling up from there. It's a bit of an oddball, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Uh, there is another, uh, yeah, there's another seed plant, but the capacity is quite small. Definitely wouldn't have, uh, was only, I think it's only 5,000 liters. Oh, that's all the seeds. All right. There we go. Really? 
There we go. Now just grab some furt. Do, 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 do. And yes, barley is already queued up. Like I said, we um, mulched and um, limed. It was pretty, uh, pretty bad on lime, but now it's. Uh, why is it going so slow? Oh, I guess if I'm pushing a, <laughs> I'm pushing a lime pallet along in front of me, it might not go so fast. Right, so there's the big the big changes have arrived. Dutes and John Deere, the green machines. Uh, let's see here. Let's get that lowered down. Moving forward. Not flying. They're not flying forward, but it's it's going. That's the one thing about um, fast farming is um, it just doesn't go, you know, that does still require a, f a uh, quite a uh, bit of horsepower. Well, anyways, uh, so now that you know what's going on, we'll put the worker on this for the moment. Um, we are um, kind of really running into... Uh, uh, our maximum time here. I've been just yapping on and on and on. And um, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up because um, we have a few things to do. And it's already 40 minutes into the episode. So, um, um, yeah, so the next episode uh, we'll have the grass picked up and uh, we'll see what we do. Uh, we want to see about our finances. We still, you know what? We're either probably going to buy a uh, harvester and then see what we got left over, because we really need that. Because otherwise, we're not going to be able to harvest any of our crop. Um, and then uh, next, um, yeah. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have this uh, fields planted and uh, the grass picked up, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, so um, thanks for watching, and we're going to stop this guy because I'm going to still talking, and he's going to go crashing into that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Looney Farm Guy, the $6 million farmer. <laughs> and uh, working our way towards the uh, the um, <laughs> uh, being a cattle baron of Fox Farms. Um, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys are all having a great time. Thank you all for your support and your views, and please a, li a like if you so like it. And uh, we will see you all next time. And uh, as always, just remember, it's only a game. So till next time. <laughs>